Hi, my name is Camille Rodriguez and I am a field software engineer for Canonical. I will do a short demo about Microcades today. Microcades is a cloud native computing foundation upstream Kubernetes deployment. You can use it on Linux directly, no need of for a VM. It will run uh, through a snap, or you can do it on Windows or Mac through Multipass. Okay, let's get started. I will be running this demo on Ubuntu 19.04, the disco release. First thing we want to do is to do a sudo snap install microcates with the classic confinement version. Once it is installed, we can run um, our microcates, enable, dashboard, and DNS. What this does is that it, well, it deploys DNS and it also deploys the Kubernetes dashboard with Grafana and InfluxDB. To get into the dashboard in a few minutes, we will need a token as a password. So I'll just run these two lines right away. It retrieves the token in the cube system and it will print it out with this command. Let's just run it again because uh, microcase was getting set up and I went a little too fast. Good. So it ran and this runs as well. All right, we got the token here. I'll just copy it and uh, keep it in my clipboard for now. Let me clear this window. Now I can run the microcase cube control, so cube ctl, uh, get all, all namespaces, and this will show me everything that is deployed. So these are all components of microcades for the dashboard and the DNS and the just default microcade service. Because you can see the DNS, Kubernetes dashboard, monitoring with Grafana, monitoring includes DB. So if we want to get to the Kubernetes dashboard, we need to access this IP. So make sure you don't use mine and that you use the one in your own deployment. So to do so, I will go into my browser, https slash, and I want the 10.152.183.157. So it brings me to a potential, potential security risk just because it's local and it's not encrypted, but you can bring that in the future. I will need a token to enter, and this is the token I had in my clipboard. So if you don't have it, you can just rerun the same command I ran earlier to retrieve the, the token. And here, let me make it just bigger. You have the Kubernetes dashboard. So you see your service running, the IP, the endpoints, and you have plenty of different workloads that you can run directly from uh, this, uh, this GUI. Um, there's not much running right now because I just launched it but this is, this is where you would go uh, to do stuff if you want to use the graphical interface. There's an alternative approach uh, that you can do to access hosted services. So you can run microcade.cubecontrol cluster info. And this tells you the master runs here, Grafana runs here, and Flexibility runs there. So if I click, for example, on this link for Grafana, I'll accept the risk. Then it asks me for a username password. To get this, I need to do microcates.config. And it shows the cluster authority server, blah, 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 and then user admin password, this big password. Okay, and now I have access to Grafana. So Grafana is a great tool, open source tool to um, visualize, visualize dashboards. 
Um, I don't have anything running really right now, so there's not much. But you could see the CPU usage, a few different pods, the memory, a network. Basically, any information you want to track on your containers, you can do it uh, with Grafana. Let's get back to my pod and clear this. And now I'm going to try to host a service in Kubernetes. Uh, it's going to be a microbot just for the sake of the demonstration. Uh, so I'll do micro case with control create deployment microbot. The dash image don't reboot me slash microbot. V1. No, oh, app got created. Um, I want to have two replicas for this. So I'll show you just in a second what it looks like. But I need to scale my deployment microbot. And I'll say replicas equal two. So it got scaled. So if I do a micro case that to control, get all. Then you see, I have my macro pod that is in a pod, and there's two replicas running for this micro pod, which is great. And one thing that is great with um, Kubernetes clusters is that if I decide to do replicas equal three then I get all, it would automatically run a third container with the same program on it, and it will balance automatically. And you see, now it is fully running. Just for it to be clearer. And so the pod will ensure the number of replicas are always on. Um, so if I decide to kill one. So I don't need to do here. Micro case, cube control, delete. And I select this one, let's say. Then it deletes it. But the pod wants three replicas at all time. So if I get the status again, once this is deleted, you'll see that the third one with a different ID will have spawned. See? This one existed, it's the second one. L6 existed, but a new one spawned as soon as this one disappeared because you need to have always three. So here you have some disaster happening, killing a bunch of your microbots, then your number of replicas in your body will be recovered automatically which is pretty awesome. All right, so now to be able to expose the microbot and see it in a browser, I will run expose deployment microbot, and I want to expose it on the port 80 of that um, microbot and expose it with the name microbot service. So if I do a get all now, I can see that this new service appeared it's running on that IP um, port 80, which is forwarded to the port 31849 on my local host. So let's go see. Local host. And I have a microbot. So this microbot is just a web service that will stay up as long as you have all, at least one microbot on. It shows which of the microbot is being used right now. So it is this one. So let's see what happens if I delete that microbot. Okay, do control, delete. So it is deleted here and see. So I still have three bots because, as I said, my replica is set to three, so it spawned a new one. And what about the website? See, I reloaded, and now 
it changed the name of the macrobot that is running the that is hosting the website. So now it is the second one. So as soon as you have a container going down, another one in your pod will take over for the service you're hosting. And so if you want to shut down everything now, you can do a micro case or stop. If you wanted to start from scratch, uh, you could do a dot reset to remove everything that you deployed so far. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this video will be helpful to you in getting started with microcades.